Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. China's Tiangong-1 space station is set to make an uncontrolled re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere on or around April 1. The update from the Aerospace Corporation, which is tracking the abandoned orbital laboratory, predicts that it'll make its final plunge at 0000 Greenwich Mean Time on April 1 with a margin of error of plus or minus 36 hours when it will burn up somewhere between 43 degrees north and 43 degrees south latitude. Now, there is no ground control of Tiangong-1, so its orbit has been decaying naturally as it is slowed down by faint traces of the upper atmosphere. Because the thickness of these traces varies with solar activity, how much drag it is encountering isn't known for certain. In addition, the orientation of the station is unknown as is its exact location at any given moment. Now the result is that calculating the time of re-entry has a 20% margin of error and, aside from which area of the Earth is involved, exactly where it'll enter is completely unknown. In this case, that's two-thirds of the Earth's surface. However, as the time of re-entry approaches, the absolute margin of error narrows because the 20% is measured against the remaining days or hours until the event. Did you get all of that, folks? Um, now, as I have understood it, uh, by having done a prior report on this thing, um, originally it was believed that this, uh, whatever is left of this spacecraft, this uh, space uh, station, this space junk, was going to come down somewhere in North America, maybe around Michigan. That was a, a prime location. According to what we're hearing here, it is a rather large area of the Earth that could see the impacts of this thing when it comes down on or around April 1st. Whether it's just pieces of it or the entire craft, we don't know yet. But it is expected to fall to Earth, so it's something we certainly want to be aware of. Hopefully no one is a casualty of this thing when it comes down. Anyway, I'll leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And folks, if you would be so kind, if you're a follower of World Events, you would really like my fiction books. There's a link below the video to take you to Amazon.com where they're available in Kindle and paperback. There's a link to a free read of a chapter of one of my books down there. There's a link to some music of mine. And if you like my reporting here, there's a PayPal page that you can buy me a cup of coffee. But most importantly of all, folks, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.